what's going on everybody it's a Nidian and yes I'm not dead my channel is still alive and first and foremost I want to thank all the new subscribers I've gotten because when I went on this probation through work and I haven't really been able to do anything which I'll get into in a second I think I've gained like 150 subscribers which is crazy since I haven't been posting any videos so welcome to all the new subscribers I, I hope some of you guys even remember subscribing to me and thanks for sticking around to all the old subscribers that I get a couple messages here and there seeing what's going on and it's just one of those unfortunate things like for a lot of people that you don't know why I haven't posted a video I got a new job and I went on a probation period and the new job was such uh, a level of income gain and I'm talking about you know I was making roughly twenty two thousand dollars a year um, and now I'm making close to almost eighty so I mean it was it became a really important factor in my life that I get this financially solid stable and I didn't want anything to deter from that so I just made my job my main importance and dealing with a bunch of stuff with my family the house all that other good stuff so that's where I've been that's what I've been doing and there was days uh, stretches where I'd work 32 days straight I think was the longest stretch and then the holiday kind of broke that up and then I worked another 20 days so on and so forth so I haven't really been able to do anything video wise uh, I know I put on my YouTube channel a couple times I was gonna make an update video something would happen then that wouldn't happen and I'm finally getting to the point where I can do it because I'm off probation uh, my hours are much more flexible it's not mandatory overtime anymore it's uh, I can come in for overtime if I want I don't have to come in for overtime at all it doesn't really matter anymore so I can kinda of play and choose If I got something going on I just I just won't go in for the overtime it's not that big of a deal um, so that's where I'm at right now. Everything's good. Uh, I made it through my 90-day probation. I don't have to worry about getting crap canned for every little wrong mistake or move I make. Um, and, you know, there was points in times that got really worrisome. I, I had a computer glitch with my time card at one point that I almost did get fired. So that kind of put me on edge even a little bit more. So now that's kind of calmed down. We're done. It's over with. And I'm going to resume making videos. So, I, I like I said, uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to all the old subscribers. Glad you guys stuck around. And there's going to be some uh, videos coming pretty soon. I have... Uh, for the first time, I went and picked up Darksiders 2, and I did a playthrough of that, and that was the first time I was able to turn on my PS3 in the last three months. It was like a week ago. And I played through Darksiders 2. I'm doing my second playthrough. I played through on Apocalyptic mode, so we're going to get that up to you guys. I didn't do any voiceovers. I just kind of went at it, and, and I'm going through my second one now on Apocalyptic mode. And I really like the game. I think they kind of overstretched a few things. They tried to do, like the horse traveling and all that stuff was kind of neat. Uh, it really didn't need to be in the game the way they implemented it but you're gonna have that and it was still a really good game and I, I'm gonna play through it again or maybe two or three times because I liked it that much um, what else did I have going on I got back into my card collecting here as you can see I got cards all over my desk it's a complete disaster and uh, that's been actually going really well I've been selling uh, stuff on eBay so that was like my with my initial purchase I just sold a bunch of stuff we didn't sell at the yard sale got almost like six seven hundred bucks which kind of surprised me because I wouldn't have made nearly that much at a yard sale use that to buy some cards got my cards sold whatever I didn't want to keep back on eBay and I recently then I used that to buy more cards sold all that stuff back and then I used it to buy more cards so it's pretty it's going pretty well I've ordered close to fifteen hundred dollars with the cards I've only spent probably 125 of my own money to like kinda if I wanted to throw on an extra box and it was like an extra 20 bucks I'd throw it on there but it's been working out really really well and uh, hopefully I can hit a big one here I haven't gotten really anything too crazy like three four hundred dollar card wise uh, but I have gotten a couple one hundred two hundred dollar cards that I've decided to keep uh, I could put them on eBay and sell them but uh, I think I'm just gonna keep them and put them in my own little collection for my kids when uh, I kick the bucket and they can figure out what they want to do with it, sell it, get some money, whatever the heck they want to do or keep it. Who knows? We'll see. But that'll be going to them in the long run. And that's what's been going on. I've seen a lot of YouTube drama. I have been keeping up on the YouTube videos. We had that whole T. Martin thing, which is, you know, oh, he's copying me, I'm copying him, this person's copying this person. It actually fell back on me a little bit. There's a gamer out there called the Devil Dog Gamer. Uh, he's a Marine as well. He does his little military uh, Marine Corps Mondays. And I wouldn't actually have found his channel otherwise. So it was pretty good that I had a bunch of people kind of come on my video say, oh, you know, you're a piece of crap. You're copying this guy. But ironically enough, the video that they all commented on um, was made before the Devil Dog Gamer even made his YouTube channel. So it's one of those things. It was kind of weird. 
But uh, the most thing I can say is I'm not copying him. He's not copying me. I don't see anything like that. You know, if you want to look at it like that, everybody's copying everybody as far as YouTube goes. Um, you know, you could say that a music guy is copying another music guy, or you know, how many videos of COD are out there? So everybody's everybody that plays COD is copying each other. It's I don't see it like that. Everybody does their own videos, um, but I am glad that people came to my channel, kind of tossed me his way, so I could check out another fellow Marine doing his thing, and I really like his content. So the most I can say to all those people that came over and tried to crap on my parade for no apparent reason is thank you for uh, bringing me to his channel and showing me all that good stuff. You know, and then you got all these other guys that have been around a while. They got, you know, abnormal amount of subscribers. They're starting to lose views and they don't know why. And it's pretty much because, like we said months, like I said months ago, along with Sven Dean, a lot of other people, um, that COD is on its way out. And a lot of these people have based their um, channel strictly off of Call of Duty. And you're starting to see the decline in that. They have refused to kind of play any other games. Or if they do play another shooter, they, they're not as good as they are in COD. And they don't feel like their subscribers want to watch that. Well, it shouldn't. To me, it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to be honest. You're going to see some videos of me playing Madden. And I 100% thoroughly suck at that game. I've uh, The last time I've played Madden since I bought 13 was in 98. And I've probably thrown, right now my record online is 2-10. And, and one of those wins is because a guy quit. So I got a free win. So technically, I'm like one in ten right now, and I just thoroughly suck at the game. And but I'm still having fun with it. And you're gonna see that. I'm gonna try to troll some people. Um, and hopefully, you know, I'm waiting for that breakout game. It might be the next one I play when I finally get the controls right and I don't throw 82 interceptions a game because it seems like every time I throw the ball, I throw an interception. And those 10 games I probably have, I, I'm telling you, well over 50 interceptions easily. And that's a lot of the reasons why I lose the game, because I throw an interception, they run out of the field, they score on me, so on and so forth. And if I can just calm down the interceptions and get a good, solid game together, could be my turnaround game, and we're going to work it with that. But I'm having a lot of fun, even though I'm getting spanked. Um, I give the credit to all these guys that are really good on the game. I think that I got blown out. 45 to 14, but at least I scored two touchdowns is how I look at it. Um, and we'll go from there. So what games am I picking up? I'm picking up Resident Evil 6. I'm going to go pick up Borderlands, obviously, because I work third shift. I wasn't able to make it to the midnight release, so I'm going to have to wait till this weekend most likely to pick it up. But I am going to pick up Borderlands 2, um, and I am going to pick up Resident Evil 6, probably Assassin's Creed 3, and... We'll kind of go from there. I don't know what else is out there. I think I'm going to pick up Guild Wars to give it a try. Terror Online, um, I like the game, but I don't have enough time, and it doesn't warrant me paying the subscription fee when I can only get on probably once every two weeks. Once every three weeks, I can, I can sit down and, and actually play a game for four or five hours. So it doesn't warrant the subscription fee. Whereas Guild Wars 2, I just go out and buy the game, and, and no subscription fee. It's free to play. I can play whenever I want. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm probably going to be picking up Guild Wars 2 and bringing that to you guys as well. I just wanted to really get an update video and say thank you guys for sticking around. I am back. I got a lot better outlook on things now that I'm more financially stable, and I'm not worrying about this, and I'm not worrying about that. And how am I going to pay this, and what am I going to do? So I got a lot better outlook on a lot of things as far as that goes. And, you know, I can't say uh, enough thanks for sticking around. I see, I know I really haven't lost any subscribers. So hopefully you guys remember subscribing to me. You guys remember what videos you watch that make, me, make you subscribe to me or, or wanted, had you, I can't even talk right now. I'm already stumbling my first video back after three months and I'm getting right back into the old habits. But... That's what I got going on, guys. I appreciate everything. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Thanks for all the new subscribers, and you're going to start seeing videos starting piling up this weekend, and we're going to get it started, and we're just going to have a ton of fun because that's what this is about is just having fun. So don't get discouraged like I've always said from the get-go. Um, have fun with it. That's what YouTube is supposed to be. It's, you know, Some people do make a living off of it, but... In the end, it's all about fun. You know, that's why I have a job on the side. That's why I have a real job on the side. That's where I go get bored and all this other stuff. But I make really good money doing it, and I'm going to use this for fun. You know, I do make a little bit of money, and that's hey. Even if I didn't, like I said, 158 million times before, it is what it is. It's all about having fun. So keep your heads up, guys. I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys are glad to have me back, and we'll see you soon. Peace.